Oh, one of the most popular styles of cards that I see are the pop-out cards, Suzanne. So whereby you get inside the card and it actually pops out and gives you a little scene on the inside. Now, I remember, Suzanne, when I first started making cards, this is one of the first card styles that I was desperate to master. And I always used to just cut a plain shape in here. I can remember doing them with you, Suzanne. I would, I would do like a heart or, or I would cut like an archway or whatever. Never anything this advanced. So so when we came up with this idea of actually taking one of these designs and giving you a whole miniature scene inside the pop-out so card, cute. I was like, that is just G, I love it. So what you've got is in the set here, I can't believe it, it's almost like you buy one and you get the other three. I think they were $12.95 each individually. Wow. And the feedback we've had on these has been outside. People just love them because of the simplicity. You've got all of these, but you've got four designs. So you can see here, we've got the little one that is like with a camper van so you can see it's like a camper van a little Adorable. caravan on there the happy camper we've got the one that i just showed you with the butterfly in there and i love this like little picket fence on here we've got one that's got this gorgeous church scene so it's lovely for weddings or confirmations anything like that and then we've also got a party mm -hmm. one so we've tried to cover quite wide array like you said go and have a little look online and you can see the other sets that we've got as well all at great prices today so you've got our whole collection basically but how it works is when we come to make a pop-out card Suzanne you basically have two base cards so you've got the back one that's going to fold in half and then you've got the front one which I'm going to fold over like this so that we've got like um this the seam so that's going to go into the middle and then we need that pop-out seam to cut into the center so what you'll notice is when I take a one of these Suzanne it doesn't have an outside cutting edge so what happens is you lie that in the center of the die uh, send that through your cutting machine and then when it comes out it's going to come out like this can you see so that has gone into there it cuts it in cuts all of this away but it stays connected on the middle on the inside of the card so that then all you're going to do we're going to take this and we're going to fold it in half now so we've got our card folded straight across the middle. That is going to give you there the whole pop-out shape ready to go on the inside of your card. So you can see there, that's where it is. Now, you've also got on each one of these like a little um, little accessory piece. So in this case, it was this little set of leaves. So what I've done is I've die cut these out and I've stuck two of them back to back, threaded onto a little bit of invisible thread. And I can stick this on the inside of here. So I think pop-outs are even more uh, impressive when they've got this little dangler thing going on in the middle. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, um, but I just always called them danglers like that. So there's our little dangler that goes on the inside now that just connects inside your card like this you're just going to stick it on the inside we can put on here you can start and put some fancy papers around we can put some color into the background here we can start and build up the whole scene like this and you'll see how quite easily it'll start to come together to give you this sort of shape of card like this and so that it looks like a regular card from the front, but then when we open it up, you've got that little scene inside. And I just think it's so clever, Suzanne, really I different. I, you know what, and, and here's another thing. Do you see how it's plain right now? I'm sorry, could you do me a favor? Could you grab colored? Because again, this goes back to our today's special. If you don't have that Spectrum Noir set, you'll learn the techniques to be able to do the coloring because you're seeing it. Thank you for showing that. Again, all the markers you get with our today's special, that's going to allow you to add those beautiful colors and really enhance that scene if you want to. I think it's kind of striking by itself, but if you want to do that kind of look, see how it's colored in there in terms of the little tree and the little church with our today's special markers, whether you use the watercolors or you're going to use the um, the alcohol pens, that's how you're going to color that in. You see, that's the magic that happens when you kind of combine what Sarah does with her die sets and then back to the today's special. That today's special, if you see any color on almost any kit that Sarah is showing you tonight, it has been done going back to using the Speckham Noir markers. That's how you achieve it. Some of this you can cut out with paper colors. That's fine. But if you really want to get that, wow. Like, that's a great example. Those balloons, look how awesome those balloons balloons are. Look at the marker she's used and the colors she's used to create that. You could even watercolor the background and cut out of that. Again, going back to our today's special. So it's so neat, Sara, because I don't think people sometimes we realize how often you're using your markers to no. make these cards come to life. 
Well, just look at these, Suzanne. Look at these balloons, Suzanne. Yeah. They look three-dimensional and rounded. Yes. If I just cut them out of regular pieces of card, I could never achieve that. That is what the markers are going to do for you. As you said, whether it's watercoloring or whether the... So this is a watercolor technique that Beautiful. we've done on this one. Beautiful. And a watercolor technique in the background. But then you've also got the color... Oh, these have been watercolored on the inside as well. It, I think it just elevates your techniques to the next level. This is, this is the thing about coloring, Suzanne. It really is. It's one of them um it doesn't get talked about much but when we do as you said they've all been done with the spectrum noir markers and that today's special today gives you the starting point so what it's doing is saying, right, if you're just getting going with alcohol pens just getting going with watercolor we're going to take you on that journey give you all the tools that you need as well as all the education that really supports it now before i go off this one suzanne i just wanted to show you you know those extra sets that we've got i've got a couple of cards to show you with these oh, perfect. so if you go for the great outdoors set you get the what i love this one by the way the rainbows i don't know if rainbows were as big over there as they were here but they were huge here that rainbow one will be the first to go and look at that that comes along with a little one with the that flamingo that's great outdoors now you celebrate scene love this like for your girlfriends a little bit of time for a time for a pamper and then you've also got the celebrate one here and then the last set was the one with the happy times in as well which is the one with the beautiful wedding scene and then that lovely little cottage in there too Aww. and even if you just like on this one look we've just colored in the heart and a couple of little bits from the flowers but left the cottage uh, in the same color just looks really effective doesn't it yeah it does and i i think you know again we don't really talk uh, much when we get to these kits of how the today's special affects it but look at yeah. this in the front all yeah. done with the today's special even that background could have been let me pop that up and we'll pop the item number for the today's special on the side just real quick but all of that was done using our today's special so i'll give you the item number for it since you guys maybe are thinking oh okay maybe i will try that the item number on the today's special is seven seven eight three one zero so you can check it out on hsn.com sarah i know i'll see you later on today thank you for kicking off our mini crafting event it's been wonderful. I loved it. Yes, I'll be back up at 10, Suzanne, and throughout the day, and then closing off with you tomorrow evening. Really looking forward to All it. All right, baby, I'll see you a little bit later. All right, guys, stick around. I've got Late Night Bites coming up. In a